Alright? Now, how are we going to conduct the sale? There is a hard cap maximum of 100,000 plots of freehold land NFTs. Now, half of it will be available pre-game launch, right? The other half will be for post-game launch. So, in the case of Nexus Worldland, you earn rewards from player traffic. Now, when they come to your land, when people or players come to your land to do activities, very similar to like Monopoly, right? The more players come to your land and do activities, the more you earn. There are many factors that determine the value of a land. It could be, uh, you know, location, it could be uh, rarity, or it could be the features of the land. But ultimately, it's about how it adds value to other players. The more value it adds to other players, the more valuable it becomes. So every plot of land, all right, if you can see, it has special features that does different things, such as spawning of rare buddies. Now, these are very prestigious. There are some very prestigious features that spawn very rare buddies, very special, very rare buddies. Now, mythical lands, right, are guaranteed to have those features. Common land will still have, but it has a much lower rate, but it's still a possibility, right? Uh, the higher the rarity, the higher the possibilities. Nexus World is an untouched world that is owned by no one. We will be the very first inhabitants to discover this world together. So you so the thing is, you, you can't buy land from anyone, right? It, it makes no sense at all. So the way to claim your land is to take a flag, is to take a flag, right? And plant it at the location you want and say, this is my land. Let's look at some of the details, right? On 8th of October at 1300 UTC, we will launch phase one of our flag sale, where there will be a maximum hard cap of 48,482 flags available for purchase. So one flag at 1995 Flynn during phase one. Okay, there are only 48,482 flags. Each user can only purchase a maximum of 55 flex for phase one. Phase two of flex sale will be December, where there will be a maximum hard cap of 11,828 flex available for purchase at 2995 feet each. So one flex in phase two costs 2995 feet. Okay? Now, if you have a whitelist spot, you will have a 24-hour early access to purchase the flex for both rounds. Alright? Now, after that, we will be launching city by city in waves. Sometimes it could be, you know, one city at a time. Sometimes it could be multiple cities at a time. You will be able to buy, take your flex that you bought and plant them at the location of your choice. Claim it and it will become your NFT that you own. So that land, it's, it's owned by you, official, own, officially owned by you already. Okay? So now, some of you might ask, should I buy one flag? Should I buy 10 flags? Or should I buy 55 flags? A common land could be in a really good location determined by you. And you will only need one flag. Rare land, the rare land requires three flags. The epic land requires nine flags. And the mythical land requires 27 flags. Okay? You will be able to see the world viewer where each rarity of the land is located. Okay, so all this, uh, you know, the, the whole world viewer, it will already preset the rarity already. So you will be able to see it and it, you will see where each rarity is located. And then you can take your flag to plant it there and claim that land, right? So you might ask, what's the difference in rarity? Now, uh, similar to like Monopoly, there are different grades of land, correct? The higher the grade, the higher the earning potential. In terms of our lands, Texas world lands, the higher the rarity, 
the more features it has. The larger the population size limit of your hometown it can have. And most importantly, the higher the earning potential it can get. 